Fighters original bad boy, Chris Lieben, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Damian Maia. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. This man is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 100, and now, fighting out of the... And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rose. Gentlemen, you ready? Damian Maya. Ready? Chris Lieben. Round one is Let's underway. Fight. Damian Maya, two-time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion. And Joe, you've said many times that he has adapted his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to MMA very, very well. He's a very intelligent guy and one of the best at developing a, a good strategy for bringing guys to the ground that don't want to fight on the ground. An excellent example of that is the fight that he had with Nate Quarry, where he went to shoot, Nate Quarry stuck to take down Damian Maya. And oh, that could be it! But he got rocked, but man, he snapped back quick. Back on their feet. Beautiful head kick there. Nice job, double leg. Half guard. He's in the full mount, Joe. Maya's pace is slowed down here, Mike. And really raining down some hay. He's got his back. Nice right hand. Rolls back over to mount again. Oh, reversal. Pushes him off with the feet. He lets him up. Push kick. Oh, looping hook there. He's got that single. Again, the takedown is stuffed. He's got the double. Outstanding takedowns. Two minutes remains in round number one. That's a huge left hand. Oh, he's even hurt more. Oh, but he recovers. Joe, this building is electric. What a classic matchup. Pushing his opponent away. And again. He loves throwing that punch. He jumps guard. He's in the guard. Pushes him off with the feet. He's got the double. Good takedown defense. Oh! Big slam! Pushing his opponent away. 45 seconds remains in the first round. Maya is cut. Wow! Good inside punches. Nice double leg. He's isolating an arm. He's got a Kimura. Trying to remain patient. Round one is complete. What a great round of action, Joe. Yeah, both fighters came out aggressive, and that was a beautiful submission attempt at the end. A few more seconds, and I think we'd have seen a tap out. Get that leg to go. He has no defense for it. Breathe. Show me. Let's take a look at the replay. Right? You feel him open that guard. Bring out that combat knee. Get yourself. Okay? The beautiful Ariani. Gentlemen, you ready? You ready? This is round two. And here we go. The crowd is really booing hard here, Mike. They're sending a very clear message. They are not enjoying this. Side control again. Oh, big shot from the top. Armbar. That is a tight, tight armbar. Oh, oh, he rolled out of it. Very nice escape. He's got half guard. Oh, he got reversed. He's grabbing an ankle lock. 
Trying to remain calm, see if he can break out of this. Trying to turn oh, out, and he does. And escapes, very nice. Oh, beautiful combination. Nice counter right, he's down. This may be it. He's working for the rear naked choke. He's working the choke. I don't think he has it, Mike. It's not under the chin. Good submission defense. Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. Full guard here. Great reversal. And he gets reversed. Half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. He's dropping back for an angle lock. I don't think it's tight. Very nice. And he lets him back up. Huge left and right. Those are snap. And another. Oh, he rocked him bad here. Oh, that one dropped him. Careful, he's grabbing an ankle lock. Oh, my. I don't think it's quite tight enough. He got out. And he escapes. Oh, big head kick. Stopped. We have completed two rounds. When a fighter gets dominated like that, what does he need to do to come back? When you're behind the scorecards, you have to change up the game plan. Take some risks. This is where good advice from your corner can make all the difference. There is still five minutes left in this fight, and anything can happen. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. Here we see a huge shot landing on the ground. Sit down. Nothing, uh, hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. The beautiful Brittany. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? Here we go. Round three. Let's fight. Oh, big kick. He's down. Oh, nice shot. He's hurt. Oh, he's looking for an ankle lock. Doesn't look like he's got it. It looks a little loose here. Wow, great oh, job done escapes. defensively. Oh, another one. Big strike. Good sprawl. Oh, he recovers. We've seen a lot of power shots getting countered by quicker strikes here, Mike. You can throw bombs all day, but if you're getting tagged by a faster fighter coming in, it'll throw you off over and over. Able to posture up. Oh! And another. Those are doing damage, Joe. In the half guard. He's in the full guard. Back to side control. Half guard. He's looking for Kimura. Great submission defense. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Moves into full mount here. Oh, he got reversed. Pushes him off of the feet. Punishing him. Oh, beautiful hook. Oh, big kick to the head. It is all over. Knocked out with the head kick. What a finish. Chris, the crippler leaving. Let's see it again. Man, he got some torque in those hips, didn't he, Joe? Yeah, that was just perfect technique, right in the perfect spot.
And here we see it again. And that's it. Right on the button. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 34 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Chris the Crippler Levi. The Crippler, Chris Levin, reigns supreme.